You know how ChatGPT has been leading the way in AI, right? Well, that might not be the case for long because there's a new player on the field. And it's Google. OpenAI's big language models have been ahead of the game, partly because they got an early start, thanks to Microsoft's massive data centers backing them up. But things are changing, with new and super powerful AI models constantly popping up. Google is making serious waves and could give ChatGPT a run for its money. According to the information, Google has extensive cooking in its AI kitchen and plans to roll it out as early as this fall. They call it the Gemini Project, and it's all set to supercharge their AI game. Google has some serious plans for Gemini. They want it to boost their existing AI body bard and take their enterprise apps like Google Docs and Slides to a whole new level. What's making Gemini stand out as a heavyweight contender in this AI showdown is Google's enormous resource stash. They've got access to a treasure trove of data that they can use to train these AI models. We're talking YouTube videos, Google Books, a massive search index, and a boatload of scholarly stuff from Google Scholar. A lot of this data is inclusive to Google and that could give them a leg up in making smarter AI models than other AIs. Gemini is also reportedly said to be a true multi-talent. It can handle text, images, and videos, which the previous GPT-4 couldn't quite pull off. Google has more than just sheer data firepower on its side. They have a strong reservoir of talented people who have spent years developing their talents and building and training massive language models. They could create a new Gemini-powered chatbot or give their trusted Bard chatbot a big makeover. And what are the ramification of all of this? It might be a major improvement for Google Cloud, becoming the principal portal for business customers to access Gemini. During the Google Developer Conference held last month, they showed Gemini and several other fascinating AI experiments. The secret sauce is that Gemini relies on cutting-edge training techniques inspired by AlphaGo. Remember AlphaGo, the AI legend who created history by defeating a professional human player in the challenging game of Go. Gemini has some of AlphaGo's magic, which may give it the ability to plan and solve complex issues like an expert. Now let's move forward to Gemini Sizes. Gecko, Author, Bison, and Unicorn are the four sizes offered for Gemini. Although Google has not published detailed specifics regarding the parameter count for each size, hints suggest that Unicorn is the largest and in terms of parameters is like comparable to GPT-4. Each size has its related scale and suggested application. The smallest, the Gecko, is ideal for testing and handling little jobs. Otter's medium size makes it ideal for intermediate jobs requiring a balanced amount of complexity. Bison, the huge form, is intended for more difficult jobs requiring significant computer power. Finally, as the extra large size, Unicorn is designed for solving highly complicated jobs and working with enormous datasets. While the specific parameter counts are not revealed, this size classification provides a rough overview of the different sizes within the Gemini framework intended use cases. So how does Gemini function? Gemini, in essence, employs a new design that combines two fundamental components, a multimodal encoder and a multimodal decoder. The encoder's primary role is to convert various data kinds into a common language that the decoder can understand. Once the encoding is complete, the decoder generates outputs in various modalities, depending on the encoded inputs and the tasks. This enables Gemini to process many sorts of data and deliver suitable responses. For better understanding, here is an instance. The input is an image and the task is to generate a caption for that image. The encoder's purpose in this situation is to run the image into a vector representation that captures all of its attributes and meaning. It effectively compresses the visual information so that it may be easily processed. The decoder then takes over using the encoded data to generate text output that characterizes the image, producing a meaningful and appropriate caption. Now, what distinguishes Gemini from other AI? Here is a quick rundown of Gemini's capabilities and differences from other AIs. Gemini has the advantage of being extremely efficient. 
especially when dealing with new and unexpected situations. Regarding computational resource utilization and memory needs, it beats other models, mainly when dealing with several modalities individually. Furthermore, Gemini employs a distributed training technique, allowing it to access several devices and servers at the same time to accelerate the learning process. This improves its overall efficiency and performance. Gemini excels in adaptability because it can handle a wide range of data and jobs without requiring specialized models or substantial tuning. Gemini is not restricted by specified categories or labels, unlike other models that are frequently trained on a specific domains or activities. It can learn from various domains and datasets, making it adaptable and versatile. This versatility distinguishes Gemini from models with limited scope and application. What sets Gemini apart is its ability to scale up to larger datasets and models without sacrificing performance or quality. One of the most typical parameters considered when analyzing the size and complexity of a large language model is its parameter count. Parameters are numerical variables that contain the model's learned information, allowing it to predict and generate text based on the input it receives. A greater number of parameters in general offers greater possibility for learning and producing different and precise outputs. In addition to what I previously stated, Gemini functions as a network of interconnected models. Gemini's unique network architecture enables it to handle various jobs effectively without needing specific models dedicated to each task. The network's models collaborate, exchanging information and benefiting from collective learning. Gemini is an extraordinarily adaptive and powerful AI tool resulting from its collaborative approach, capable of solving a wide range of tasks with versatility and efficiency. Gemini's amazing ability to think is another amazing thing about it. It has the amazing ability to gather and combine information from many different types of data and jobs. This lets it make assumptions and draw conclusions that make sense. Gemini is a powerful tool for solving problems and making decisions because of this. Gemini can examine complicated situations, find patterns and give helpful information about how to solve problems by combining knowledge and insights from different sources. This is like having a brilliant friend who can help you figure out how to solve complicated problems and help you make good choices. Gemini also has a fantastic ability to make things. It can make content in various formats, not just text. If you need an essay written, a picture made or even music written, Gemini can help. It uses creative skills to make content that fits your wants and preferences. With Gemini, you have a flexible content generator that can make different kinds of outputs for different mediums. Gemini can translate, which is a very cool skill. Not only can it translate information between different languages, but it can also do even more. Gemini can translate between different types of data, which is different from standard translation models. It can turn a description into a picture or even a 3D model. For example, this means that Gemini isn't just limited to text, but can also bridge the gap between the different data types. This makes it possible for people to communicate and understand each other in multiple languages. Gemini has a cool tool that lets it sum up a lot of text, audio, or video. This is very useful if you want to quickly understand the main points of a document, lesson, or even a meeting recording. Gemini can quickly show the most critical points, so you don't have to wade through much text. This makes it easy to understand the most important information in no time. When it comes to answering questions, Gemini does a pretty good job. It can deal with different kinds of material and give answers that take them all into account. For example, if you ask Gemini a question about text document, it can pull information from any images or movies that go with it to give you a full answer. It's like having a brilliant assistant who can get information from many different places to give you the most full answer possible. Not only that, Gemini stands out from the other big language models because it is more interactive and creative. It can make results in several different ways, depending on what users want. Even more impressive is that Gemini can develop new and different results that don't depend on known data or templates. Indeed, based on my mentioned capabilities, it is better than other large language models like GPT-4 
because it can do a broader range of more complex and varied jobs. Gemini shows how flexible it is by handling multi-model data, making creative outputs, adapting to new situations, and scaling up to handle bigger datasets. Gemini pushes the limits of what can be done with natural language processing and AI-driven jobs because it can do so many different things. Gemini could hurt OpenAI and other competitors. How Google builds Gemini also makes a difference. Reports say that Gemini's multi-model abilities have greatly improved, making it better than earlier models. Its design focuses on being multi-model, which means it can process and understand different kinds of data, as well as being very efficient in terms of tools and API connections. The future is indeed thrilling, and it's not just exciting for AI enthusiasts, but also for everyday folks who rely on these advanced search capabilities in their daily lives. The way AI is enhancing our experiences and making tasks easier and more personalized are truly remarkable. And there you have it, folks. That's a wrap up for today's video. If you found this content helpful and want more of it in the future, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more great stuff coming your way.